Hey guys, it's Ben from CarryPad, and I wanted to do a little demo here of the N900 UI on video for you. So this is my EMA 5. Um, it's got the kind of Android style multi-desktop thing going on. So you can set, I believe, up to five desktops and pick whatever background that you want for them. Um, the scrolling when you go across it is a little bit disappointing. There's a lot of horizontal tearing. You probably can't see it in this video, but when you're up close it just doesn't have that polish you get with scrolling on something like the iPhone. A little disappointing, but it still works. Um, so basically the idea is, you know, you got all your widgets here. These are shortcuts to different websites that you can add. Uh, I got a little quick search box here. You can search Wikipedia or a bunch of other search engines. All from this little widget, pretty handy. Uh, you got your weather. Um, there's a couple other things you can add. Facebook. This is AP News, um, but I don't have a uh, I don't have a connection right now. Uh, you can add little app shortcuts too, which are these things down here. This one goes to Firefox Mobile, still in beta. Uh, and so you can you know pick all the desktop backgrounds you want, stuff like that. Um, I chose just individual pictures here, but you can do panoramic themes so it looks like you're scrolling through uh, one big environment. Uh, the app menu is up here in the top left, uh, sort of in the status bar area up there. So it's kind of weird. You go here, and I don't even know exactly what determines. I guess these are just, you can't change these right here, but these ones come up, and then you have a more button, which just makes the list longer. So, whoops, accidentally launched an app. So, you've got these, which I don't believe you can even customize. Um, and then you click your more button, and it just gives you a longer list. I don't know why they don't just take you right to the list. Because then you got to go back twice if you want to get back to your desktops. Kind of weird. Um, this button up here also functions uh, to do your backgrounding for multiple applications. So, for example, if I launch a sketch application, You'll notice this icon up here changed from a grid to a little uh, two windows on top of each other. So I can be, oops, I can be in here sketching, and then I can click this, which will take me to show all my open apps, or it's back to the grid. I can click it again to get back to the app menu. I can launch something else. Chess, and then I can click here and switch between my two apps pretty easily which is nice. It really makes it feel like uh, more like a computer than most uh, mobile devices just based on the fact that you got a nice full web browser and you can you know run a couple different apps at the same time. Makes it feel like a little pocket computer plus this nice little keyboard. Well that's uh, the fundamentals of the interface. It's actually a little bit confusing at first. Um, to get used to it, it takes a couple days. It's, it's not the most straightforward thing I've ever seen. I hope they make some adjustments to it. MAME is always evolving because it's open source, uh, so hopefully we'll see this get adapt a little bit. But it's just the way that you pop in and out to the desktops and move around apps is somehow can it's sometimes confusing um, because sometimes this this X button, which would normally close the app, sometimes functions to close the app and sometimes just functions to go back. So it's not necessarily consistent. So say for instance, let's see if I start this game. This X up here turns into that little arrow, and now that takes me back, and then I can close it. Or, well, not with this application, but say the web browser, I might go to a website, and now it's it's always that X. It doesn't it doesn't uh, have the function of taking me back, but I can always go to the uh, to see all my open apps and close them individually like that. So I don't know. It's it's a little goofy. You know, another thing like that. Um, Similar to that, the kind of dual functionality there is that here's a little hold switch on the side, and when I flick that, locks the device, flick it again, unlocks the device. All right, that's great. Um, if I slide the screen up, unlocks the device, and if I don't touch anything, you know, I'm just checking to see if I have any messages, I can slide it back down, locks the device. That's pretty cool. But then if you, there's a top button um, up here, which does a couple different things, but when you tap it when it's locked, it takes you kind of to this device, like you have a hardware unlock here on the side, I'm sorry, not device, screen, um, but you've got a hardware unlock on the side, and then you have a software unlock from the hardware button. It's, 
I just don't quite get it. Seems like it would be much easier just to have one and you just slide it over. So, yeah, anyway, uh, I wouldn't say the polish is that of some of the other devices out there. I'm really looking forward to MAMO kind of becoming more mature.